caught in the crossfire. That's perfect lighting. The highest setting is perfect lighting, isn't it? It always is. Oh, that's awesome. It always is. Luke Perry situation. <laughs> Mahas on my wall. Wow, that's a that's very. I respect that elemental. That's a very like kind of obscure to most people band the uh, goth band Mahas. They're good actually. Um, I enjoy them, but I don't really have any of their albums. I think Sam made me a, like mega mix of their best shit. I should dig that out because they're good. They're good goth band. Plasmatics, Wendy, Williams. Fine. I'm high. Yeah, we're doing better, Maniac Monday. Thank you. We're doing a lot better than we were. We gotta, yeah. we gotta raise 350 bucks for a tire, folks. Yeah, hey, guys. How you doing? Good morning, my lovies. This is going to be good. Uh, I hope. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, Rev needs money again, so shocker there. <laughs> so, money, of course, does not grow on trees. This is a fact. So, we have to come to you guys and ask, would it be possible? to get some help, and if I would like you to donate it, you didn't put the thing on there, I, I would like you to donate it to the Reverend Dude, PayPal. Yeah, just put the link down on your phone and I'll do it. You gotta raise. Holy shit, Nick sent me a message? Nick actually sent you a message? We gotta hear it. I don't believe it. It might be just from his fans, the first fans. Hang on, I mean, what? Nick sent you a message, we wanna hear it. I would be very happy with it. No, this is VIP, it's to all of his VIPs. Oh. It's not just to me. Oh, damn. It's to his fans. I got excited there. He has 6.2k fans on Cameo, which is, that's fucking huge. That's a big deal. Anyway, Nick's like a serious star now. He's my hero. I love this fan. I love him. I want one of these hoodies. They're like probably 50 bucks. I want, I love Nick. All right. Here's the deal. We know that money doesn't grow on trees. They say, Rev, fuck you, get a job. I want, I am going to do that. Okay, I promise you. But I need a vehicle. I really do. There's, most of the things that I have to do are at least one to two, three miles away. Okay? Well, you better get those hiking boots on and get to stepping there, Rev, because no one's going to fix your car, buy you a car, buy you a tire, send you $350. Start walking. I can't be walking everywhere. What I've been doing around one mile radius or whatever, okay? I've been footing it. I'm getting my cardio, so it's probably good for my heart. And you meet people, too. It's cool. You're walking. You sometimes cool people. Like, hey, what's up? You start talking. You meet someone new, and that's awesome. You know, that's like an achievement in Grand Theft Auto. New contact, you know, that goes in your phone. That's cool. Anyway. The fact is that our tire was mutilated by somebody. We have a description from our son. We have a description of the person. We're pretty sure we know who did it. <coughs> there are not cameras. <coughs> <coughs> There's no cameras in back. So, we made half footage across the street. Maybe. We'll see. You expected people to believe that one of, one of the boys spotted the person who slashed your tires and ran away. Do you think people are dumb enough to buy your lies anymore? That is a complete lie. Um, I don't believe this. I think the house is vacant over there. There's just work being done on it. I'm not sure. So, the police are gonna have to get involved probably in this eventually, but I need a vehicle, so. The police are gonna have to be involved eventually. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but if somebody slashed my tires, the first thing I would do is call the police and make a police report. But I guess when you guys get around to it is when you'll actually do that because e-begging and trying to get $350 is far more important than actually making a proper police report if your car was actually vandalized, which we all know it wasn't because you are a grifting e-begger. $350 goal, guys, and you guys are awesome. You're really amazing. We're cutting our 48 stream, like, in half, pretty much. Well, not in half, but it's usually 500 for a 48-hour yeah. stream. Yeah, where the hell is my phone? But we're just charging 350 for our tires right now for the 48-hour stream. Um, so, like the video yesterday, I didn't watch all of this before I uploaded it, so I'm watching it with you guys. So, she's claiming she that they demand $500 for a 48-hour stream, but they're just going to ask for three fifty dollars this time for the tire? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking serious? You really expect people to believe that anyone's paid you $500 to stream and that's your charge, but you're only going to charge three fifty? dollars You'll be lucky if you get $3.50, and rightfully so. Spend five hundred dollars freaking watching your fat ass sit there and play video games while Rev goes, yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome, Shanny. Yeah, amen. Yeah, yeah. 
That's not content. That's not any riveting content you got going there. Certainly not $500 worth. Because we need help. Yeah. The thing is, everything you guys know, okay, everything is so expensive now. What? Did you look into a used tire, though? The cheapest that I can get the tire is 200 bucks. Is then that's what the fundraiser's for. The tire, yeah. the tire itself is 200 Okay. I need to tow it there, which is another 100 And then there's going to be other costs guaranteed for service. So, so your tire was slashed. You have to replace a tire. But now you're adding all these other random estimated in your head charges that you're going to add to get to 350 If If you guys had your tires slashed, wouldn't you go out and find out exactly how much it would cost to replace that tire and whatever else, you know, whatever else goes with it as far as installation, whatever, I don't know. I change my own fucking tires because I'm a grown-ass woman. But um, if that was the case, wouldn't you know exactly how much you needed? Oh, I need 300, 200 for this and 100 for this and 50 for this and other things. Yeah, nice try. Like, we all don't see exactly what you're doing. Pathetic. So total, it would be 350 Now, if the service is more than $50, I'm going to have to find a few bucks to put together to have the rest of the money. But that 350 I think, is going to cover everything. The tire, the tow, and the labor, I think, will be good. Why won't you apply on Oh, you think $350 will be good? Again, wouldn't you find out exactly how much you needed, liar? I'm like the post officer, so Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, thank you for that. He, he doesn't want to talk about How would I go for that? Oh, wait, wait, just, let me just... Listen, guys, wow. he doesn't want to go and talk about where he works or anything personal like that because people stalk. So even if he did apply to the post office, he wouldn't tell you due to how well, that, stupid yeah, people are like. That's true. I don't want anybody to know what I'm doing in my personal life, number one. So if I had a job already, I wouldn't want you to know it, Carrie, that I don't know it all. Oh, was Carrie's talking some sense into you and you didn't like what she had to say? Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? Funny how she called you out several times in this live, I believe. Let's see. Then don't beg for money. I have no fucking car to get my wife's medicine. Okay, guys, just stop. She's a fucking cunt. Just stop. I don't have a car to get my wife's medicine. Just stop. I thought this was for the tire, and your wife's medicine is Delta 8. So what the fuck are you talking about? Which one is it? Medicine or your tire? Pick one. You know, riding Uber for mile. Like, fuck. Just stop. Oh yeah, I'm sure the post office is just dying to hire somebody like yourself, Jason. I'm sure they're just dying for it. Jeez. Get me off the screen. Get me off the screen. I'm done with Yes, I, I... Fuck you, right here, right here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Jason, William. Will you stop? Apologize. No way, asshole. Are you? Stop it. No, I'm done. I won't. You won't hear me again. I promise. I'm done. I apologize. No, I'm done. You won't hear me again. I promise. I'm sorry for the offense. I see, I said I'm sorry. Sorry for the offense, but you won't hear me. I'm done with that. Bullshit. That's what I'm getting. And I, I think it is time for men to stop using that word onto women to degrade them. I'm not happy with him. I'll just say that. But, but seriously, I'm going to ask you not to use that word or talk to my audience like that ever again. Because I don't appreciate it. Okay? If your mental health is getting away with how you're treating people, maybe you should remove yourself from said scenario. That's what I did. I love you. I love you too. But do better. Yeah, I love you too. I love you too. Because I don't like that shit. No, I need it too. That's that's why I always, after it happens, I always feel like crap. Because, take me off the screen, please, because I'm having my pipe. Uh... I always, I always hate myself after outbursts like that happen. That's why I need to have a psychiatrist or whatever. That, that's what I need. So, I'm sorry. Oh, now you need a psychiatrist because you just called Carrie. I see you next Tuesday for absolutely no reason other than she uh, stuck a fact in your face and you didn't like it. You need a psychiatrist now? You needed a psychiatrist 20 fucking years ago, but you never got any help, and you just blame your mental illness on your disgusting, vile, nasty behavior. No woman should be called that by you. At all. So shut up. And I'm gonna get help, you know. Wait. All right. In May, June, I don't... Men need to be taught how to treat women, period. And I don't care how anyone takes that. Um, <laughs> I 
can say so many things like that, and I would say I don't care how nobody takes it, but I do care. I do care. I, I, I definitely care how I'm treated and how people around me are treated. Because see, like it or not, we're together, so what you say is a reflection onto me, and I don't want to be reflected like that. It's like you're not. Yeah. So, it embarrasses me. I mean, I... <laughs> oh! Shani's embarrassed by Jason. <laughs> oh, how funny is that? Do you realize I had a really good reputation in the fucking prophecy community? Yeah, but why okay. can't you why can't you let me have a good reputation? Oh. Oh. Why why okay. why I'm is it okay saying, for you to control I'm, not I'm just I, why is it okay for you to be able to control your tongue when you're doing prophecy but you can't control your tongue when you're doing my show? That's kind of disrespectful, don't you think? I was disrespected. Yeah. By her. Okay? Main <laughs> audience member, sure. That's why I apologized, okay? I apologize for it. Can we move on? I'm sorry the outburst happened. Thank you. Yes, absolutely, because I love you, and I don't want to be like that ever. That's yeah. shitty. I, I, it, it's called being a professional. Yeah, it, you're right, and I fucked up. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, you do that at a job, you're going to get fired. That's why the doctor said you should be on disability, kid. Oh, listen to this actual fucking garbage nonsense that's about to come out of his mouth. Just wait. Like, people aren't going to handle that type of behavior. Exactly, that's why I would get fired because I have those stupid outbursts for no reason. Like a child. It's you would get fired because you can't control your mouth and your outbursts? Grow the fuck up. There is no me there's no mental issue there causing you to act like a complete jackass. And that's why I would get fired because of my outbursts. No, you'd get fired because you'd probably never show up on time, not do the job properly, and call in sick constantly. That's why you'd get fired because you're a lazy sack. You don't want a job, and you never did, because this is an old video, and here we are in the same place where Rev's jobless. It's like a child would do that. Yeah. You know, what, a bold, petulant kid in, in school that's had disciplinary issues. That's weird. Why the hell do I have that? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, so if you can control your tongue doing your prophecy channel, yeah. you can control your tongue on my channel. Of course I can. Yes. I was, just, I'm sorry. I just was going up and down the hill today, and I, lots is on my mind. I, I understand, I'm sorry. but please be self-aware of what comes out of your mouth. I have to be. If it's mean, yeah. if it's nasty, it. it's a condescending, Don't say if it's it. negative. Don't say it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a child. I know these things. It's just when, my, when, when I feel threatened or offended, I can say shit that's really stupid. Then try not to be offended by everything. Yeah. I, why should I be offended? Yeah. It was because, an... because other people have a way of looking at this, and I understand that. Yeah, most people work. Well, of course. I understand that fucking shit. You know? So, we'll get through this, guys. Yeah, a doctor told my, he told me and my mother when- Can I put your face yes, on? Yeah, you can, no, I'm sorry. I was, in 2004, I was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. And both my, my general practitioner, doctor, the psychologist at the time, and uh, like authorities that were involved with it, all agreed, they said, kid, you're gonna have issues going forward in your life. It's a guarantee, because we see, your, they did a brain scan of me and everything, okay? They had like probes in my head studying my brainwave activity, because I was like half, almost catatonic, completely almost, so. Almost catatonic, and you had probes coming out of your ha head? And you were you were diagnosed with, with that, yet you didn't do anything about it? They said, look, you're gonna have issues going forward, so we're gonna file this paperwork ahead of time for you. And if you wanna put it in, you can do it right now. If not, hold off, go ahead. Try and live your life and see how you are after you get out of here. Because the doctor said, yeah, he can go. He's not a uh, danger to himself or others. I was in a mental ward in Carbondale at Marion Community Hospital was the name of the hospital. And they diagnosed it and said, yeah, here's your disability papers. File them now if you want. But that's it. So let me get this straight. The doctors gave you your disability paperwork and said you could either fill it out or not. You have to be kidding me. If you were told you had a, dis a mental disability and could get put on disability, why wouldn't you have done it at that very moment? And why were you never put on any kind of medication to fix all of these mental health illnesses that you have? I don't believe this story at all. Not at all. I believe he was in the hospital, but I don't believe the rest of his garbage. I think it's all bullshit. You see what they're saying? I have mental illness too, it's not an excuse. And they're not saying that to put no, pressure on you. They're, they're saying that because they, they with mental illness, have, have, have done similar like things in the past. But, you ha but listen, this is what a therapist will tell you. Okay, because we've all been through it. You've never, you haven't gone. Oh, Shani, the psychologist, is going to tell you what the therapist is going to tell you. Interesting.
Shani's a doctor again, everyone. I've gone through it yet. But a therapist will tell you, you got to learn how to control your actions and your reactions to things. Well, I already know these things. That Maybe that means I'm not as mentally ill as I thought. I just have to have somebody walk me through coping, sober, or get me on medication because the mania is what causes this. It's mania. It's not mania that I'm seeing. And you, what, need someone to hold your hand through life to help you cope? Like, grow up, you are in your 30s. But anyway, this was a different thing. I actually felt severely offended because I know, I've already said to you folks. Oh, Elemental's like, this is therapy, Jason. Yeah, we've all gone through therapy, so this is kind of like DDT. Group therapy, yeah. Yeah. Well, let me make it understood why I reacted this way. Because I've already make it, made it understood to folks on my channel that I agree with you that I need to get employment. Okay, I agree. I have severe anxiety that I have to get under control, and as soon as that's under control, I'll have nothing to worry about. I think I'd be able to- You know what? I know a job I don't give you. when I get medicated. Are what do people not understand about this? Oh, so at this time it was his anxiety he had to get under control. He just said he was manic. Um, stop making excuses because here we are years later and again you're still jobless so the anxiety thing getting under control guess what we all have anxiety anxiety is our everyone has it our it's our way of our bodies telling us that something is wrong or something is alerting us it's livable i live with anxiety i manage it it is what it is stop making excuses because here you are years later and you're no further than you were then it's pathetic jason get on some medication you have medicaid and get some goddamn help but i'm so over i'll get a job when yeah never you'll always have an excuse here if your anxiety <laughs> take some benadryl no i don't need this yet i'm gonna <laughs> smoke a delta no honey take I want to smoke Delta. I know. Take that with the Delta. It will calm your ass down. All right, fine. Take now, now, all of us who have dealt with anxiety knows that Benadryl really helps with anxiety if you don't have any anti-anxiety meds. People need to learn mercy. Because a lot of anti-anxiety meds are like over-bloated uh, Benadryl. So... Can we... Shani? <laughs> Shani. Somebody needs a... Benadryl is an antihistamine, Shani. Okay? Um, it's not a bloated benzodiazepine. Lesson on Sodom and Gomorrah and, and inhospitality and unkindness. That's all I'm saying here. <laughs> Honey. No mercy for the week. You're going to be okay. Just calm down. Sure, but I'm just saying. Just don't get defensive when someone says their own opinion. Not, uh, yeah, I was defensive. That's true. <sighs> but can we have some mercy in the house of God? I do breathe in. Benadryl can make anxiety worse. Not for him. Not for me. No, wait. This is like very good. Sudafed, too. I'm Trump. Like Sudafed. Trump. Calm down. Okay, calm, calm down. down I want you to calm down because I love you and you're on edge. And and since you have schizoaffective disorder, it's a lot like bipolar. So we got to try to disarm you. I'm just going to leave this here for you guys to read yourself because it just shows you how little this woman knows. No, she's completely wrong absolutely 100 percent wrong because you think everyone's out to get you and we're not we care for you i have mania i definitely have mania no i have schizoaffective and i believe bipolar disorder both well schizoaffective disorder is like bipolar. Mimics it. yeah then i that's it's it. a mood disorder with uh temporary schizophrenic like effects i had a mental evaluation and that's the conclusion i came to yeah are people going to call me a liar? I have to show my medical records. I don't give a shit. No. I'm telling you I was diagnosed with it in 2004. Would you advise Benadryl? I don't believe you. I don't believe that you were diagnosed with that because if you were, you would be medicated. That's the only way you would be able to handle those kinds of mental illnesses is with medication. If, if, he, if I had some Ativan for him? Yeah. I'd take an Ativan. I know what I'd give him an Ativan. I know what they feel like. I never had one, but I know what they feel like. Like I take an Ativan, definitely. I have anxiety. We all have anxiety, Rev. We all experience anxiety. Every single one of us. Grow the fuck up. He's willing to take them now. Trust me, Carrie. I never said I wouldn't take an Ativan. No, you said you wouldn't take SSRIs. That's not necessary, is it? Mm -mm. No. 
That's anti-anxiety medication. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. No, that's not necessarily right. Well, it can be addictive, so it's very highly controlled. They'll probably give you like 10 pills for the month. Yeah, turn your back and smoke because we don't see exactly what you're doing, genius. Yep. Old Pepsi bottle, that's the shit. What do they give for schizoaffective disorder? Usually anti-anxiety, no. antidepressants, and uh, 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 antipsychotics. Bingo, that's what... So I'm sure there's other medications now, but in this that I found from the Mayo Clinic, it says that this one in Vega is the only one uh, approved by the FDA. The reason you're wrong, Shani, then they don't give you antidepressants and benzodiazepines and anti-anxiety and all this other stuff is because they want to see if the patient is benefiting from this one medication for schizoaffective disorder. It's an antipsychotic. They're not going to mix a whole bunch of other medications in so they don't know what's working and what's not and what's conflicting and what's not with this medication specifically. They had me on, on Zyprexa, which is an antipsychotic medication. How'd you feel on it? Horrible. You were just adjusting to it though. No, more suicidal. I was two weeks into it. Okay, you can't say that word. Cyprexa is an antipsychotic, and yes, it can cause unalive ideation, unfortunately. Gotta be careful. <sighs> Carrie says she takes an antipsychotic. Yeah, good for Carrie. So, um... I mean, she has all the answers, doesn't she? Well, she goes through the same thing you go through. All right. Well, Good for her. She went to her doctor and got put on the proper medication. Why are you so salty about it? All she was saying is she is on a similar medication. Calm yourself down. I know you have a big heart on for Carrie now at this time, but uh, she wasn't saying anything negative. So get over yourself. That's what I end up on. I've been waiting for mental health, which... Uh, like I have to repeat myself a million times. I know. People like have really, short-term memory. Yeah, apparently they do. Well, these are people who have trauma, dear. Fine. Well, I know they watch us on a regular basis, and they know this is the case with me. I've been trying to get mental help for a year, Yeah. there's no help. It's okay, Jason. There's no help. It's okay, Jason. You're taking offense again. Oh, there's help. There's 100% help for people with mental health issues. You're just too lazy to go seek those resources out and actually get yourself on a good regimen. You're just too lazy to. You've been waiting for a year. Well, this was years ago, so I guess you're still waiting four years later. I'm sad. It looks like you're not doing anything that you're supposed to be doing, as per fucking usual. They are offensive. No, they're trying to help they you. I see them trying to help I you. I don't care. We I'm... like to discuss psychology, and you're taking offense to no, it. No, I'm moving on, though. I'm literally moving on. And what I'm saying is I want help, and I've been pursuing help, and there's been nothing because it's wait, wait, wait. And then they cancel your appointments. So not only did they cancel Shani's big breast cancer appointment, but they canceled on him too. I've been to a lot of doctors in my life, plenty of them. Uh, I can maybe one time say that my appointment had to be rescheduled because the doctor couldn't see me, but that was once in my entire life. But this ha apparently happens to these two all the time because it couldn't ever be anything they're doing wrong. It's the doctors canceling on, on such a mentally ill man. Get over it, get over it. If you wanted help, you'd get it, period. Because it's Medicaid, that's the problem, I believe. I think that's it. No, it's not Medicaid. Even though Medicaid moves very slowly, um, I've been on Medicaid when I lived in Oregon and um, I definitely got whatever help I needed from whatever doctor I needed to see. So it's definitely possible, but you just don't want to, you just want to make the excuse that it's Medicaid's fault. Because again, nothing is ever your fault. <sighs> Pretty simple. Is it depressing? Does it suck? Yeah. But a lot of people are going through this, the same crap I am. That's for sure the same crap Shani's going through. She wants to get her PT done, she can't. They close all PT because of COVID. It's still like that. Wow. I need to call them and see what's the update on that. Yeah, you can probably get back now, probably. Oh, I can't wait to go back. Because I really want to go back. I really want to go back. I can tell. Without a doubt, I can tell. Oh. 
<coughs> Look up lam Lamictal. It's a uh, medication for bipolar. It's pronounced Lamictal, and it's for bipolar 2. That's what that medication is for. Lamictal. Huh. It could, you know, we could say that it's urgent. I can tell. Without a doubt, I can tell. <coughs> Look up lam Lamictal. It's a uh, medication for bipolar. Huh. It could, you know, we could say that it's urgent. So Jason ha is having a manic episode, a schizoaffective episode, all these episodes. He's all fucked up. And you want to see if maybe you should put it in as urgent? Yeah. You think so? You stunad? They, they, see what they do. They want $50. We'll, we'll figure out how to get it. <coughs> Before any of this, I need to be able to drive again. Yeah, I know. Period. Yeah, before anything, we need to drive again. Before anything, that's it. Like, I'm not trying to be whatever. You are a spoiled little brat. You don't need a car to get a job. You don't need a car to go see a physician. You just want one because you don't want to be bothered walking. Well, guess what? You're in no, no financial position to have any choice unless someone gives you 350 fucking dollars. Get the fuck out of here. Start walking, Rev. Start walking. You, you don't really have a choice. Lace those boots up and get to stepping things aren't right down the road, everything isn't just right down the road. You, I, we need a mode of transportation. Shanny can't walk any distance. We need a vehicle. So, and I don't, I'm not asking you to buy me a fucking car. I'm saying- <laughs> No, you're not asking for a new car. You're just asking for $350 for a tire. Like people are stupid and don't know how much a, a tire costs. Let's, let's look into it, shall we? You have to be kidding me. You are unbelievable. Well, it's not like I'm asking you to buy me a car. No shit, Sherlock. That would never fucking happen. But you do expect people to pay for your tire on your vehicle that you're responsible for. Because you're a loser. And somebody from the community put my tire out with rebar. That's what happened. Somebody from the community that lives around here put my tire out with rebar. And I'm asking kind people to put donate to put 350 together so that my family can survive and yeah i'm gonna get the job as soon as humanly friggin possible dude and <laughs> well that never happened now did it your family can survive with you walking to work i'll be getting help as soon as humanly possible so i have no delusions i'm an adult i can think i i have a thought process i'm not that messed up unmedicated i'm pretty with it unmedicated actually i can think <laughs> please don't say that elemental but that's that's it yeah that actually they did you see, see, there's Ugh. huge holes in the. You know what, guys? I think I'm gonna have to end this live stream early because someone's not feeling too good right now. I'm fine, man. I'm just gonna watch Buffy. Yeah, I don't feel like being embarrassed. Wow. It's a sad day when a woman who can't wipe her own ass is embarrassed by you or Jason. Her husband. So I'm gonna go and let this guy calm down. What the hell? I'm I'm sorry for everyone for that behavior. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <clears throat> well, lovies, uh, she shut the stream down. Um, I hope she didn't get slappy with him after she uh, shut the camera off. Um, the issues I had with this video is that this constant talk about mental health and why um, his or her behavior is somewhat justified because they're the only people on the planet that struggle with mental health illness, right? They are completely lying. I don't believe anything happened to their car uh, tire. I'm sure that got discovered years ago by other creators. Um, 
this is just grifting at its at its finest. He this was years ago. He still doesn't have a job. Still doesn't have a car. Still doesn't have anything. Yet has all these mental health problems. Isn't seen by a therapist, a psychiatrist, a psychologist, nobody professional. And yet is uh, walking around unmedicated with all of the schizophrenia, schizophrenia, uh, affective disorder, bipolar, you name it, he's got it. Uh, I th also thought it was funny that he was told at 19 that he could be put on disability, but, you know, just try it out. Li just try life out, kid, and see how it works. You would tell a, an 18 or 19-year-old patient that they have schizoaffective disorder and bipolar and was in a mental hospital for a period of time, um, but they should just wing it and see what happens. I, I don't believe that happened either. So um, this is just more grifting nonsense. This is just more lies and bullshit and them feeling sorry for themselves and them making up excuses why they can't do any of the things that everyone else on this planet does. But it is what it is. And I, I cannot believe that they said they were gonna, uh, they charged $500 for a 48 hour stream. Oh, I can't. I cannot. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'm tired. Um, I hope you all had a great day and I will talk to you guys soon. Please hit the like in or the way in or the way out. Come on, Ella, you can talk. Um, if you liked it and I will be back soon. I love you guys very much. Have a great night.